long time no talk, huh? <laughs> I feel like it's been forever. It's been so long since I have filmed and it's been so long since I painted my nails. This is like the first manicure I've worn in an embarrassingly long amount of time. It's just life has just gotten the better of me. I swear, everything that could possibly go wrong has pretty much gone wrong, so yeah. But we're staying positive. <sighs> we're in, yeah, just trying to stay positive. Um, a couple of things before I get into the video today. Um, I got my hair cut. I thought I'd let you guys know that it's obviously a lot shorter. I got it like a lob and it's kind of angled and I got it colored. Um, it's like a, I don't know if you guys will be able to even tell in this light because this light sucks. But, um... I got, it's kind of like my natural hair color, but like with like a little bit of purple in there. So it's kind of like a burgundy kind of color. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how to describe it. But um, yeah, Amanda Keeley at the Northtown Mall, Northwest Beauty in Spokane, Washington. If you're in the area, she's a good one. Okay, and a couple more little things just really, really quick. Um, what I'm wearing on my nails is um, Color Club Foxy Mama, which I am like so in love it like glows from within and it's super bright love it love it love it and then on my lips I'm wearing um, a Milani lipstick called Flamingo Pose and I really like it it's just like really bright coral smells like watermelon because it's amazing and the last thing I'm gonna share is my mascara and I won't normally do this because, I mean, how often do you guys care what mascara I'm wearing, but it's blue mascara and I thought I might get questions about it. So um, this is the um, L'Oreal Voluminous Miss Manga Mascara in the shade Blue Buzz. I really, really like the Miss Manga Mascara, um, just like the regular one, but this blue one is like insane. I love it so much. I'm also wearing like blue eyeliner and like blue glitter and all sorts of blue stuff because I love blue and that's how we do it here <laughs> but um yeah if you guys don't want me to tell you guys in the video like what I'm wearing on my nails and on my lips then which is probably what I'll normally do just nails and lips if you don't want me doing that anymore let me know um down below um or if you do like it um then again let me know I won't waste your guys's time at the beginning of every video telling you if you don't care <laughs> so yeah definitely let me know Alright, today's video, finally after the longest intro ever, <laughs> today's video is going to be kind of like a, um, like a, a nail polish subscription box review kind of thing, um, and nail polish review, if that makes any sense. You guys know what I'm talking about. <laughs> um, it's been a long time since I've had a subscription box because, uh, well, a lot of reasons, but this com um, this company um, called Lillian Eve, which I absolutely love their name. Um, my middle name is Eve and um, part of their company name is Eve, so I'm all about that. Um, they contacted me and um, asked me if they could send me their May box um, to review to show you guys. Please know that anytime anybody sends me anything to review or anything like that, it will in no way affect my opinion. And I know that everybody says that, but I'm always 100% honest with you guys. I just, I'm painfully honest in general sometimes. I'm just, I'm, I don't lie <laughs> is what I'm trying to say. So you can trust my opinion. With that being said, um, let's get on with it. First of all, I am very, very sorry. I, I know I apologize too much. <laughs> But I really am deeply sorry, uh, both to Lily and Eve and to you guys. I know that this video is very, very delayed, but like I said, life has just been throwing punches and I was kind of down for the count. <laughs> um, and I went out of town for a while and just stuff happened. So I'm really, really sorry that this video is so late. I. I'm not sure if this box is still available. I will leave all the necessary links down below, as I always do, um, links to their website and everything like that. Um, I will have all that information in the down bar. Not sure if this particular box is still available, but um, they their monthly 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 <laughs> their monthly subscription box. Um, you can sign up for that, and they also have a shop and all that stuff. But anyways, I'm like so blabbing today. I'm sorry. <laughs> the May box, uh, May 2015, the box was called Champagne and Peonies, and um, like this came with this little card, which I think is super pretty. It's like all flowery and pretty. Um, and then on the back it just has like 
uh, like their Instagram information and stuff. So if you wear the polishes, then like tag them and hashtag and all that, all that jazz. So that's kind of cool. Um, I will be, when I post these photos later to Instagram later tonight, then, um, I will be tagging them <laughs> and hashtagging and all that all that jazz. All right, um, let's rewind a little bit. I kind of got ahead of myself. I want to tell you guys a little bit of information about the monthly subscription box. So it's called the LE Duo box. So two polishes in it. Um, it is $12.99 per month plus free shipping. Um, it is US only, unfortunately. Um, and in, in, in every box, it's two brand new um, polishes by Lily and Eve. Um, so I'm guessing that they create new polishes every month to put into their boxes. Um, the value is $24. So that means that they're $12 retail by themselves, each individually. Um, the polishes are vegan, non-toxic, or sorry, <laughs> nail polish is very toxic. <laughs> don't, don't eat nail polish. Sorry. It is vegan, toxin-free, which is like the five, the big five free and cruelty free, which I think is amazing. Good job, Lily and Eve. Um, and then bonus, you get bonus samples when new products launch, which is also cool. Um, and then if you sign up for the monthly subscription box, then you automatically get a free welcome box, which is, um, it, like I said, it comes free with your monthly subscription. It includes one limited edition Lily and Eve polish and um, a top coat or a base coat. Um, valued at 12 or sorry not 12 <laughs> valued at $24 and ships in just one day and then um, another thing that's kind of cool if you're kind of hesitant about like committing to a full like committing to like paying it every single month um, committing to a full subscription I guess is what I'm saying um, then you can buy the boxes individually um, they're $15.99 free shipping um, and they're available every month on the 27th of that month. Um, and there's a waiting list right now. So, yeah. <laughs> that was a lot of information about the box. I will try and leave everything, um, like I said, all the information will be listed in the down bar as well, as well as the links and all that jazz. But I did just kind of want to, like, give you guys an overview of what the monthly boxes consist of. Now, <laughs> on to my box, finally. I was getting all sorts of ahead of myself. So like I said before, um, the box was called Champagne and Peonies. And I'm not, I'm not gonna lie, okay? When I first opened the box, I was a little bit underwhelmed by the colors. Not to say that they're not pretty, because they are very pretty. I guess I was just in a very neon kind of mood that day. Um, and these are very, very soft, very spring ladylike, I guess is the best way that I can describe them. They're very girly and pretty and soft. Um, this first one, this one is called 165 Made of Honor. And this one is my favorite from the box. This is a beautiful, like, light lavender or lilac. What's the difference between li lavender and lilac? Can somebody tell me? <laughs> it's like a soft lavendery lilac cream. Um, I was able to get this opaque in two coats. A couple of the nails I had to do three coats on and that may just be user error um, just because everybody paints their nails differently. Um, I'm going to guess that it's going to take you anywhere between two to three coats depending on your coat thickness um, to get this opaque. It was streaky on the first coat, but evened out um, by the second, and it's just a really soft, pretty color. I think it looked really nice on my skin tone, which sometimes these soft lavender colors don't look good on me, but this one I think it really flattered me, so I very much enjoyed that one. And this next one is called 206 Bit of Bubbly, and it's listed here as a sheer finish. This one was a little bit more tricky for me. Um, it's like a, it's almost like a bone color. It's very like off, a soft off white color. And there's a shimmer in here. It's a really subtle, soft, like gold shimmer. It's really beautiful. Um, this one I had a few issues with. I, in the swatch I had, um, I put three coats on and I was originally not going to do three full coats because like I said it's like a sheer finish. It's meant to be like like the soft like the clean manicure ones where you can still see your nail underneath but it like gives a nice clean look. And I tried to do that with it, but it was streaky. 
So the first and second coat, it just, it was too streaky for me to leave it by itself. By the third coat, I mean, you could still see through to the nail line. It wasn't as sheer as it's probably meant to be, but um, it was still really nice and pretty. Um, and by the third coat, I was able to even that out so it wasn't streaky. So yeah, you know, it de I think this one is kind of like depending on your preference. I don't usually go for these sheer polishes. Um, I like like bold and opaque colors, but I think that you might like it if you like this kind of thing. I, I don't have very much practice with these like sheer ones, so it could work out for you. It could not. It's really hard for me to say. I'm gonna say that I'm gonna give this like a C. Like it's not horrible, especially because it is labeled as a sheer finish, but I wish that it wasn't as streaky on that first and second coat. So yeah, like a C. A little bit about the packaging. Um, can I just say, I think that these are like adorable. These remind me of a Julie G bottle. They're kind of like smaller like that and like the logo is super cute, L-E. Um, I really, really enjoy this packaging. Um, and the brush, I really also, I really like. It's kind of like one of those wider, like paddle type brushes. It's not super, super wide. It's not crazy wide. Like there's, there's the side and like that. Um, it's, it's not crazy wide, but it's like the perfect wideness for me, I guess. I just, I love these wider brushes and oh, I love this. It's a little bit on the shorter side in terms of like the stem and everything, but um, it's really easy to handle and all that jazz. So I really, really enjoy the packaging and all that stuff. <laughs> like I said, if you have any questions or anything, all that stuff will be in the down bar, um, links, all that stuff. If you have any questions, please leave them for me down below. Um, I try to get back to as many people as possible, especially if they're questions. I always try to answer questions. So I think that I might um, sign up for this box on my own. Um, maybe not right now because we're a little bit poor, <laughs> but um, I would love to, because they just sent me like the one time box thing. I might subscribe to them on my own because I especially think like, even though I didn't like one of them, I didn't like this um, bit of bubbly color. I think that like especially in the summertime and stuff that we might get some really fun colors and I I don't know I'm excited to see what else this brand has to offer so yeah <laughs> I hope that that answered any questions you guys had and I hope you guys are having a wonderful day again I'm so sorry that this video is so late it's things out of my control <laughs> but um I got it up finally, so <laughs> I hope you guys are having a great day. I love you so, so, so much. Um, stick around. I'm going to try and be better at the YouTubes, and hopefully life doesn't keep kicking my ass. And I will talk to you guys soon. Bye. Mascara problems. Whew. Get out of the box. God, it doesn't want to leave the box. We need a tool. Or do we just break the box? We're gonna break the box. I'm sorry if you guys can hear that. My neighbor's so annoying. What the heck was I gonna say? I forgot what I was gonna say after that. I'm gonna talk about um, my box. No, wait, no, I'm not, I'm not gonna do that.